A very good morning to you. Welcome to KTM Mid Morning. My name is Koi. Now, finding the right furniture isn't always easy, but it is a necessity because either you will outgrow it or it's worn out or sometimes you just need a fresh look. For that reason, today on Mid Morning Lifestyle, we feature a number of furniture stores. Enjoy. and display inside this place are the works of creative artists who love to deviate from the normal. home furniture using unrefined natural wood shapes they create very appealing and functional home pieces for your daily living what one has a fear is on itakataka lakini hizo ni material what we own material kitu kama you know mtu anaweza fikiria hii ni reject lakini hii itatoka top ya mesa tuna design vizuri tunaipiga randa inakuja inafanywa sand paper alafu baadaye kisha fungwa this sofa set is especially unique and blew me away with its mixed materials of wood and fiber. Hiyo ni sofa, tumetumia block board. Tumejaribu ku design vile imerara namna hii. Alafu baadaye tunaweka hizo fiber. Ya banana fiber. Tunaiweka hapo pamoja tunaitumia vile tunaifunga kabisa na fiber. Creative process. This type of art has also created employment for other talented youths who earn a living making the furniture. Tables of different shapes and designs, drawers, beds, and many more. This can create a whole setup of natural designs in your home if you would like to go all natural. Others would suggest a mix of this and modern furniture, which you can blend in your home too. days can and sometimes is the only feeling you can get after spending some time with these pieces and that has nothing to do with the name these sometimes rustic lamu style furniture just have a sunshiny personality and it all lies in the culture behind them the, the typical lamu zanzibar furniture that is more common or, or, or better you know, uh, known is are the beds, the Lamu Zanzibar style beds. Uh, they have a lot of intricate carving in them also, plus uh, they have these uh, hand-painted tiles and uh, the mosquito net frame. The charm is also in the culture that these pieces exude. It appeals to a very small sort of segment of people in a way uh, because uh, it's something that you you have to have it in you. You know, uh, if you are looking for this shiny, glossy furniture, then you know it's not. It, you don't get that in the Lamu style. <laughs> Well, of course, there's the show-stopping pieces which make you stop and take several looks and can be blinding sometimes. Like these seats and the dining set, all made from a combination of natural material. Uh, basically, what inspired me for, uh, um, to, to come up with those designs is to try and use natural materials. 
Most of the pieces work wood, teak wood to be exact. The pieces that are local, African teak. And you can tell from how solid and heavy they look. The pieces are all handmade, down to every intricate detail. Sometimes though nature prevails and the pieces keep as much of the natural look as possible. Rustic, they call it. The rustic furniture, I mean, you know, when you use the real wood and, and um, it, it, it gives it, it, it's a different feeling altogether. Uh, when you come home in the evening, I mean, you know, you, you, you want to feel comfortable when you're sitting on the furniture or when you look at the uh, piece of furniture. Whoever thought a fireplace, mantelpiece, could exist on its own? Well, this one has been created that way. You could actually uh, build, a, uh, design a fireplace around this mantelpiece. Okay, if someone was building a home today uh, and they really like this mantelpiece, then they could actually then uh, tell their architect to design the fireplace of their home around this mantelpiece. And the great thing about these pieces is that they are convenient, can fit anywhere. Reductible drinks cabinet, perhaps. There you go. It's a very compact unit. Okay? It doesn't take up much space. So even if you have limited space in dining room or you know, uh, entertainment area, very compact. Sadly, there's not much color to choose from. A few stained pieces, but that's it. Dazed yet? design go hand in hand. It has a history to it. It emanates from 16th century. That's when um, the archipelago islands, Lamu, Zanzibar, Pase, Manda, all were landing um, spaces for traders, merchants, sultans. So they colonized the coast. And that's where all these designs come from. the East African coast, we look at different books, we have a whole catalogue of Zanzibar doors. Nowadays it is illegal to purchase Zanzibar doors because they're considered a UNESCO heritage site. So we take those rep designs and make replicas. store 
and find anything in solid wood or chunky furniture. Everything is small and made of veneer. And it, to do Swahili furniture, you need to carve. And you can't carve on veneer. So to keep that tradition going, we use solid wood furniture. gives you the illusion of being free and uncluttered. Nature also inspires us to create. Designing with nature in mind is Sempe Onjoroge, who aims at using the rustic look nature provides for his furniture design. To be in the uh, big five restaurant. Yeah. So, so it's beauty. These animals, they are secure in their natural habitat. Like now, the leopard, they are becoming a common one. Blending nature with creative imagination allows for your interiors to have dramatic contrast and texture. This is created by the grain of wood, the roughness of the bark tree, and the obtuse shape of the roots. Wood furniture is warm and comforting in appeal, largely due to the fact that it blends with almost anything, anywhere in your home. Nature's defects are a plus when it comes to designing furniture. Here, the grooves and cracks make for great visual appeal. So if you're looking to blend the outdoors with the interiors, then try chunky wood furniture for the interior design possibilities are endless. where beauty meets function. At least for today it is. The place where functional art lives. A room full of artistic objects that double up as furniture you can actually use. Pieces that are this man's brainchild. I think that the collection shows um, quite a variety of different ways of actually combining uh, materials that you can get from the coastal region. Lamps, hammocks, chessboards, wall hangings, art for your interior. Well, basic facts about these pieces. One, they're all made from recyclable, sustainable material collected from his beach in Watamu. Two, they're a mix of wood, aluminium and flip-flops, party party, slippers, whatever you want to call them. And not just any wood, by the way. I'm limiting myself to the woods that are used to make a dhow, the woods that are used to make a canoe, and, and the driftwood that I find at different places on the beach usually retaining its natural color. However, as you can tell with this piece, he's moving towards including some artificial color. So the painting technique has to be not so much painting, but staining, just so that you're playing a little bit with the color. The textures, however, are defined by their use. With this shape, though, he has a lot of fun. And often he throws in some material that has not been collected. I'm 
had to select fabrics, um, which are imported fabrics, and then I get the cushions made up locally here in Nairobi. And that's not it. They're big, imposing, larger than life. They're art after all. They have to stand out in a room. If anybody was collecting an interesting uh, complement of furniture, you can actually just have one of these in the corner of a room and it would live really quite happily with a whole lot of furniture that they might already have in the house. Because it is art, it can be seen as, as you've said it, functional art. however that lean more towards art these sculpture pieces for instance and this mosaic the colors of the mosaic pieces used in the pole dancer uh, were, were already that color and so when I chopped up the flip-flops I put them into color selections so that I had a palette and when I was creating the image I would take the specific color to create the image created. What can I say? Function, beauty and expression in just one room. Now when you're furniture shopping, it's ideal to look at a number of stores because the more furniture you look at, you get a better idea of which pieces fit exactly into your home. Go to KTNKenya.tv to check out that feature again. For now, a short music break.